it's the 18th of October and we're on our way to a place called Black Down, which is the highest place in Sussex. Welcome to our channel. We are Carol and Ken and we like touring in our little red camper. And the sun is coming out. Didn't say it might be a little bit brighter this afternoon. You never know what you're going to see out on the road. This guy's got a mock-up Spitfire in his front garden. This is the town of Billingshurst. We may have a look around here a little bit later on in the trip. There's a bunch of cyclists in front of this lorry. That means there's nowhere to land if we need to pull in when we overtake. Now we've got a better view, we can see that there was a car hidden as well, so definitely no overtake. Well, you don't see that very often. The group of cyclists have pulled into that lay-by to let us all pass. That's really good of them. Our sat-nav is on the blink again. It keeps losing position and now it's completely lost and thus useless to us. All because of this foliage that's around us. Certainly can't recommend this pioneer unit at all. I don't know if this is a shortcut way, like a back way in, because I'm sure when I looked at it on the map it wasn't this narrow. Uh -huh. Driving scenes, once uploaded to YouTube, can often appear pixelated, so I'm experimenting with slow motion shots so that you can actually see what we can see. Horse is just around this corner, and she's leading one as well. Two lovely horses. Well, we've arrived in the car park at Black Down, so I think we'll have a drink first and something to eat. I couldn't uh, film it because I was offloading footage from the camera at the time. So this is Black Down. Now we've got the walk up to the top. This will be interesting because neither of us has done any walking since we've been back. Very pretty. It's misty out there, isn't it? And that low cloud look. So it seems like we've got a very low blanket of cloud sitting on the land with some bright sky above it. Certainly lots of people enjoying this place here today. So we keep left. Oh, uh, how the boots? Well, it's funny, today it's the left boot that's rubbing, the other day it's the right boot. Oh, well. Uh, it's just putting a little bit well, of pressure on the ankle. My that probably it. just means that the other one is worn in now. Yeah, the other one's fine. So now you've got the attention on the one that hasn't yet. Yeah. Quite a few little ponds around here. No flies or midges, so it's quite pleasant. The conkers are falling from the trees. Right, we're almost at the top of this hill now. Not particularly difficult climb. And there's the trig point up there. Made it. Quite a view. So we're currently flying north here along the route that we've just walked. And this is the view off to our left hand side. These are the fields that make up the typical patchwork quilt of England. 
wonder when this fell down. Well, quite a while, I would say. Yeah. Flooding here. Oh, yeah. It's a pond, it's not flooding. <laughs> This dog was eagerly watching everybody who was walking by. Oh yeah. Yeah, they'll be in it. <laughs> I do love dogs, but I don't think I'd fancy one in such a small van, especially if it was getting wet and muddy. Dogs? The Temple of the Winds is a viewpoint where you can look south towards the South Downs. This viewpoint was created in memory of Mabel Hunter, the wife of Edward Hunter, who gave this land to the National Trust. Edward had made his fortune as a printing magnet and he bought this land and gave it to the National Trust because he couldn't bear to see it being sold off. Thanks to Edward's generosity, we are all able to enjoy this place to this very day. last bit of colour before winter. So what's it called? The Serpent Trail. I may sound out of breath, but that's just because I am. Mm. The trouble with this camera is everybody looks at it. We're going back to our van via a different route to check out some of the other car parks in the area. There are several of them and we're thinking of staying here tonight so uh, it's always good to check them out in the daylight. Yeah, do you know the way back to our car? Yeah, it's got to clear the This dog has real character. Sorry to see him go. Right, just a short way down here is our van. So for lunch today, we're gonna to have some chicken korma and some Mexican rice. I'm gonna heat them up in a pan and then we're gonna have them in some wraps. Right, so. The chicken is simmering. I'm just going to add the rice now. It doesn't look tasty, but it is so tasty. It's finished heating up. I've spread it out on the wraps and it'll make enough for three wraps. And then all I've got to do is fold them up. And the finished product, all nicely rolled up. So how are the wraps? Absolutely delicious as always. Right, well we've had a relaxing afternoon here in the car park and we're just packing up now 
and we're going to go and get a small Chinese takeaway for our dinner. Now, I know this is a series on Sussex, but we're going to temporarily cross over into Surrey here and buy our takeaway from Hazelmere. We got the Chinese. Sweet sour chicken yeah. and a special fried rice. The takeaway from the Wok Star was absolutely delicious. And of course, we ate it in the van outside. We're on our way back now to those car parks to Wild Camp in the woods. There's nobody around, just us, and you can hear a pin drop here. See you in the morning. Hello world. We set the alarm clock for 6.30, but the walkers have beaten us to it. Winter's back, that means condensation. Just see it there, I think. Very important to um, get rid of this every morning. As expected, the car park soon began to fill up with dog walkers. So we're going to get away from here and go in and find somewhere a bit quieter to have our breakfast. This is Benbow Lake on the Cowdray Estate near Petworth. I should point out that Carol's made her own potato bread. So thank you whoever gave that recipe. And I'm sorry I can't remember your name as I film this. Enjoying your breakfast. Lovely. If you enjoyed that, then please give the video a like and consider subscribing. We'll see you next time for more adventures in the Little Red Camper.